Hi, in this video I will show you how you can bring your character to life. So first I'm going to generate the character you saw in the intro. In my case I want a manga anime inspired pixel art character. So that's what I'm going to write in my text description. So the first result is pretty good, but I think we can do better. So what I will do is I'm going to remove these shoulders. And then what I will do is I will use this character as my init image and then generate again using this image. Uh, this is a good technique uh, when you got something that's pretty good but you want it to be even better then I highly recommend using init images. Now it's still not perfect I think it's a bit too messy at the shoulders so I'm gonna just remove all the wrinkles and then I'm gonna use it as an init image and uh, that should uh, fix most of these things up. And yeah, I accidentally removed the, uh, the description, so I had to rewrite it again. Alright, now I have my character. So let me show you how you can change the expression of your character. And by you do that by using the inpainting tool. So here I'm gonna inpaint the, uh, the mouth of the character and it's important to describe the whole image and not just what you're inpainting. So in this case I will write a a woman who is smiling instead of just uh, uh, smiling for example. Now this is pretty good, but I think the lips uh, have changed a bit too much in the in color. So what I will do here is use init image, and hopefully that will tell the model what color of the, of the lips are behind the inpainting. And now we got a, a bit of a creepy smile instead. Uh, still not what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first retry and see if that helps. But if that doesn't help, I'm going to try a, some different init image strengths. And if that doesn't work either, uh, the final solution is to go in, change the color of the lips a little bit, of the, uh, the good smiling uh, face, and then use that as a init image. And that is actually what I will eventually end up doing. Instead of just uh, doing retries over and over again. I think that's... Sometimes it's like... It's faster just to help the model out a bit. And sometimes it uh, just works automatically after like one or two retries. So here you can see me uh, fixing the color of the lips. Yes, so the... Uh, the init image isn't confusing uh, for the model. So what we can do then, when we have created all these uh, different expre expressions, is that we can interpolate between them using the animation tool. And that is what you will see me do later. Uh, of course, you can also just use the start image and then just generate away. But I find it's much better when you have a starting image and a, like the first frame and the last frame. And then you generate two frames in between. Uh, because then you get like the all the uh, all the frames in between and then you can decide like what kind of frame rate you want and uh, you can also use in painting to just change some parts of the image. Uh, 
when this generation is done I will show you how you can generate a talking animation so because this character is 128 by 128 I'm gonna use the paint in selection and then select a 64 by 64 area which will be the face as you can see here I'm gonna set the reference image on the first frame then I'm gonna add two empty frames which I will be generating the interpolation frames like the frames in between the first and the last I'm gonna set up all my settings so it, they fit what I'm trying to do then I will click generate and it's done all right thank you for watching the video I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to uh, answer them